and welcome to Mad Al Goes Racing and today we are doing the last round of our Sports Cars Lights European Championship which is from the Oschersleben B course in Germany now 21st of November uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon I'm guessing the temperatures are going to be somewhere close to freezing or well, certainly not exactly warm anyway so, without further ado, let's get in there and see what it's like. Heavy cloud, oh well. Heavy cloud on a cold day. Might actually keep the temperatures up slightly. Or it might not. What's that? 42 Fahrenheit. What's that in real money? Slightly less than bugger all. Yeah. Do I let some air out of the tyres? Uh, yeah, sod it. I'll reduce that a bit as well. What's the worst that can happen? Handles like crap. Tweak! Uh, so to the, uh, what are we going to call it? Where's it inside? I don't exactly have a... Uh, logical naming convention so well, that I used to call my uh, settings when we were in WMD as a uh, whatever was quite common But there should be just over a minute for the lap. If I can get some temperature on the tyres. Understeer. Lots and lots of understeer. Took a funny line. Okay. It's going to be at least three warm up laps, if not four. My usual braking mark is around about where the uh, little track comes in. On the right side. That was horrible. He's decided he's going to dive up the inside, fair enough. A bit late seeing him, but there we go. Nice if the front will actually grip up and turn. Horrible amounts of understeer, I was trying to get the power.
car feeling horribly unbalanced. So only 4.8 seconds off or something off now. So this is going to be quite embarrassingly slow. Oh damn! Here's some grip coming out the corner. Eh? Try and get the car to load up a bit, which is proving very difficult. Especially out of here. Slightly better. Basically eggshell underneath the throttle job here. Just trying to adjust my driving slightly to uh, get the car it's straight before putting the pedal down a bit harder. See if we can persuade the car to carry a bit more speed through here. Get off the curb. Way too late turning it. Right, let's try that again. Right. Well, I've got five and three quarter of a minute to make up that one point one seconds on my lap time to get even in the ballpark. Got one barely warm tyre and the rest are staying cold and 
the AIs getting in my way, and that's not going to help. Bang goes my point for a second or whatever I was up. the go faster button a couple of times but I don't think it's going to help enough to actually make up this amount of time but there you go we'll try it Right. That car bounced me around in pro test Almost on the back of the slowest car now. Oh, is that too much? Apparently not. Too much edge in there. I'm almost getting some heat in the rear. Right time. pain that was always going to be a case of try and rotate the car but not quite that much and I really haven't got enough time to uh, get another lap in or have I? I don't think I have did I damage the car? yep right rear suspension's got very minor amount of damage to it, but ooh, might get away with it. This lap and one more and it'll be it.
great exit from that. Oh, um, I lost it all. Now we've moved up the order. No! Push the pass, so it's we need out of trying to generate some cornering performance. Still press the button, which is a dumb thing to do. Oh. Hey, sorry, the top three. Yeah, you were. Just a bit. Yeah, I, <laughs> I forgot I'd run out of push to pass, so changed up the gear and hit the push to pass, expecting another 40 brake horsepower, and of course it wasn't there. So, uh, <coughs> completely wrecked the exit. I would have been up probably another tenth or two, maybe, which would have got us up. Ooh, maybe one more place, maybe two. The question is, do I put a little bit more air back in the tyres or do I leave them as they are? Really not sure how they were getting on. Sod it. You've made it this far now, stay focused. Let's get this in the bag. Wish me luck. Nudged. I'm expecting a complete disaster here. Oop. feeling great, it's not feeling great, but we'll keep trying. Yes, that was um, a lot slower in the middle of the corner than I thought it was going to be, and uh, one of those rather unfortunate. Just tap the back of it, but enough to spin me without really doing him any damage. Jobs, so oh well. Here comes another recovery drive. Got at least an attempt in one. Let's assume we won't even get on uh, anything like. Oh, with the next car. Which is... Frankly, debatable. Oh well, just 
try and keep it safe and consistent for the rest of the race. Great first sector, that's your best split time so far. Yeah, that's the best time so far. I wouldn't mind, but I did a really good job of avoiding all the balls at the first corner and uh, did something really stupid later on. The corner where I should have remembered, they're slightly slower than me here. Of course, there's always a thing with the AI where you think, oh, I can't catch them, and then all of a sudden you are catching them. Right. Oh, bloody hell. That was really annoying. I was hoping he'd give me the space, but he didn't. Now that's just about balls up any chance I've got of coming anywhere other than last. Maybe I could have given him a bit more room, but uh, that's such a tricky, nasty little bend. Sixteen and a half seconds behind, and ten laps to do some catching up. Uh, I don't rate my chances, but never give up, never surrender, etc., etc., etc. Damn, too light, too light, Ooh, nearly too light. Well, you just about got away with that. It's one of those, I thought I wasn't going to make it, I've made it. Tight corners. But a uh, horrible feeling that was about to come up. Another one of those. Curbs that just drags it to the back side of it. Oh, damn. Such a fine line between getting the traction down and just ending up over rotating. Annoyingly so. the point of course where you go all that work you've done to catch up suddenly goes out the window and you think uh, okay Don't you dare beat back me for Christ's sake. Okay, clear. <sighs> now you're taking a piss with snow, but there you go. Slippery for slicks. I better put some weights on because otherwise we're going to be 
really deep trouble. Ooh! Yeah, a bit early with a speed limit. Because he hadn't got to the speed limit. He still hit the brakes. As you might have gathered, I wasn't quite expecting that to happen. So. Right, where's my pit box? Where is it? Ah, we can see it at long last. Chuck some wets on boys. They've got wets. Good, they've got wets. Never mind the repairs. These are not the repairs you're looking for. Get on with it. Go, 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 go. Hold on. Also, I've already got a set of heavily underinflated tyres on, which are going to feel like crap. On the outside of him before he gets to the corner. That way I won't run wide on the exit, which is what killed me last time. Right. Let's see what we can do now. Whoop. That wasn't good. Consider him, consider him squeezed, fast. Oh, damn. Standing water on the inside of the corner. Now that was unbelievably annoying. Right, well I know what not to do on the next lap when it comes to that corner. Don't stick a wheel right on the apex. I just turned into a Titanic there for a second. I think it was about to sink under an iceberg. Alright. You're all clear. Considering it's only meant to be snowing, it's hell of a build up of water, standing water. And let's see if we can just avoid it all. Much better. Right, I've got five laps to do something here. Now, depending upon how we're balanced in the wet against the AI around this particular circuit. 
This could be the drive of the century. Oh, ooh, blimey. Ooh, or a total disaster, I was trying to say. as much about trying to work out where you can overtake without hitting a bloody great puddle and spinning yourself as anything and of course that oh, bit wide there stay wide stay wide with the conditions changing every lap the way they are it does make life quite difficult can we get up the inside of him here A bit of extra punch down the stride. Swoop! Blimey. Yeah, well done. As long as he doesn't let me go now. In the apex of that corner again, we'll be fine. Stay wide on here, because again, a horrible build up. Can we get out of the way? Okay, clear, you're good. A little forceful, but I thought I'd already seen this, and obviously hadn't. As ever, you uh, Drive a slightly different light to the AI. Oh, yeah, times! Don't, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, bugger! That was just so annoying. But there we go. Well, we've got three laps now. Ah. Thirteen seconds behind, there's no way we're making it up. That's why project cars can be horrendously frustrating at times. Up to a point, I don't mind a little bit of aqua pine when it grabs your car and spins it completely round it can be extremely annoying Seconds behind. With only two laps left, and oh, that was horrible. Oh! Cars tantalizingly close ahead of us, but oh, I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, that's a miracle happens. Let's consider how many utter non miracles we've had so far. Can't see that. I'll go use some boost. I 
get the wheel too much in the way. If I make up one more place, I will be both stunned and impressed. Ooh. Get it. So near, but yes, so far making another place. Well, that was ridiculously hard work due to the uh, puddles. So, I was sorely tempted to actually start the race on wets anyway for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. Probably because they don't get. so cold in this horrible cold weather but uh, I think if I had it done I'd have already walked away with that one but there you go you live and learn if I redo this championship again I will remember to uh, start on wet special tip for all those at home for this particular round, go with the wets. Phew. So that's what I didn't get about coming at the pits when I hit the car it slowed to 37 so darn early I just got uh, confused as I say as in what the hell are you slowed down that much for an interesting view. Right, well, uh, eighth. Uh, didn't get the fastest lap. Didn't, oh, don't forget to save the replay. Saved. Right, well, Four points and oh, bizarrely, I finished ahead of my teammate. So and despite that terrible race, I still managed to lead the championship. I really am surprised by that. Obviously, my teammate doesn't like the wet weather. Well, yay, another winner! Got another little trophy I put in the trophy cabinet. Ouch! And the radiator's just come on beside me. I wonder why I was getting a bit bloody warm. Right. Three podiums, three wins. Is that three podiums include three wins? Or is that three wins and three other non-win podiums? Right. Right. We can progress. And we're going to go to... Prototype C. Don't ask me what's in it. I don't know. 
Oh my god! It's the old Le Mans type cars. Oh, this could prove interesting. Most especially from a case of which bloody car am I going to get to choose? Now, the Euro, we've got Algarve, Zolder, Monza, and Le Mans. All we can do, the US, which is Indianapolis, Cota, Watkins, and Daytona. Well, we've done a Euro Championship, uh, although we didn't go to Algarve. Zolder, bleh. Monza, bleh. Le Mans, mm. Or, hmm, gonna find no, I don't know what it was. I think we're gonna do a US version here now. Does it actually say how long the races are? No, nope. we'll do the US championships. So that's Indianapolis, uh, which I'll probably regret because I don't really like the road course. Cota, which I'll probably regret because it's one of those uh, take it or leave it type circuits. And uh, Daytona, okay, fair enough. Watkins, fair enough. Watkins, classic old circuit. Daytona, well, lots of banking. And uh, right, oh god. So, Jaguar. Nissan R89, the GTPXT Nissan, Porky or the Sauber? Well, I think it's going to have to be the Sauber. I think. Let's have a look. They should all be much of a muchness. Because you really want to compare the sort of various road versions. I mean that is now was that the one that actually ran in the US series, the GTPXT? I do believe it might have been. Jag or Sauber? Sorry. Sauber it is. We got any interesting numbers? Go for the Valentino Rossi number, or we can go for my mum's age. I could just go for one of the works ones. Ah, oh, we'll go for my mum's age. Daytona should be fairly warm any time of the year, since that's on the Florida coast. Watkins is up near New York, so shouldn't be too bad at the time of the year. Coat is down in Texas, and Indianapolis is in ooh, Indianapolis. So that can be a bit chilly, possibly, at that time of year, but uh, the rest of them should be fine. So. We'll find out when we get there. So that's uh, the light uh, sports car lights done. 
and on to the Group C's next. So, until next time, enjoy your racing, have fun, and uh, keep it on, on the tarmac. And where's my button? Goodbye.